Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by the Hotel for Family Fun all over the world. Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by Toyota. Today's episode, The Blarney Burglary. Dumb <laughs> shoes. Carmen San Diego and her consortium of cretinous creeps have struck again. This time, the deed was done on the Emerald Isle. Blarney, a tiny village just outside of Cork City, has a reputation much bigger than its size. That's because its ruined castle is home to the famed Blarney Stone. Legend says if you kiss the stone, you'll be able to charm and deceive people with your words. In other words, you'll be full of Blarney. Supposedly, this superstition started because Queen Elizabeth I of England asked the castle owner, Cormac McDermott McCarthy, to surrender the place. For years, he strung her along with flattering words and soft speech, and she never got the castle. One day, fed up with his excuses, the queen cried, What? More Blarney? Folks who want McCarthy's gift of Blarney have been bending over backwards to kiss the stone ever since. Or they were. Until Vic the Slick, <laughs> Carmen San Diego's sleazy salesperson, blundered into town and plundered the stone. Gumshoes, your mission is to get that rock back to Emerald Isle, stick Vic in the slammer quick, and then catch Carmen San Diego. The crooks on the run, let justice be done. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Samantha McIntyre. Stephen Wadak. Deliwe Kekana. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. I'm Greg Lee. I'm Greg. Thank you. Sorry for the mix-up, guys. How are you? Good. Are you all right? Yeah. It's a little quiet, but that will change very quickly. Uh, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Greg, Vic the Slick has stolen the Blarney Stone, and there's no time to lose. Here's the profile on Vic. <laughs> He thinks he's a high-living playboy, but he's really just a low-rent hustler. And here's what we know so far. Vic hauled the rock to a city in a region of the United Kingdom where there's been a lot of conflict. In fact, they don't even agree on the city's name. To most of the Catholic minority, it's called Derry. But to the Protestant majority, it's called London Derry. The Protestants are mostly loyalists who want to remain part of the UK, but many Catholics would rather break away and join their neighbor to the south. But the troubles aren't the only thing there. There are lovely cities, beautiful green countryside, and ancient solemn castles. So, put on your hats and head for Derry. Or, head for Londonderry, and head off Vic the Slick. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, name the uh, region of the United Kingdom. Is it Scotland, Wales, or Northern Ireland? Remember the clues that we heard? Derry and Londonderry. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Trying to find Vic and the Blarney Stone. Uh, Stephen's ready, so is uh, Deliwa, and uh, Smith is too. Uh, Smith, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said Wales. Wales, what do you think, Stephen? I said Scotland. Scotland, Deliwa? I said Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland, the answer we're looking for is Northern Ireland. Nice job, Deliwa. Yeah, okay, so that means, Samantha, you have 50, Stephen, you have 50. Deliwa, you have 60 crime books. Nice job, guys. Uh, Samantha, you're here with your school today, right? Yeah, and I'm from IS61, and we're the best school. Oh. I guess we have some people that are agreeing with her on that. All right, welcome to everybody there. Uh, Stephen, uh, who are you with here today? Okay, uh, we're from Junior High School 104, me and Taliwe here, and we think not. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Now, Rob, uh, Deliwa, do you have anything you'd like?
like to say to Stephen? Well, I'd just like to say on behalf of Class 7421 that we are going to whip 7420, 7207's butt. Whoa, whoa, oh my goodness. Listen, you got to stay tuned for this one, folks. It's going to be a rivalry like you've never seen before. Okay, you guys have got uh, started here. Uh, clue two, listen very closely now. Samantha, you have 50 steam. Oh, wait a minute. That sounds like somebody uh, is calling me. I think it's time to uh, check into the Roach Hotel. Excuse me. Ah. Okay, Kafka, what you have? What have I got? A tan. I just got back from a group of islands southeast of Cape Hatteras. It's got pink sand made out of coral shells ground up by the wind and the waves. Anyway, I saw Vic trying to bury a huge rock. He stood out like a sore antenna. The local guys wear blazers, shorts, and knee socks. And there's Vic in his awful plaid suit. <laughs> Boys, you got bad taste. Not like me. My taste is impeccable. Say, I uh, got any fingernail clippings I could snack on, huh? I, there might be some around here somewhere. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm from fresh out. Sorry. Thanks, Kafka. <coughs> All right, gumshoes. Ugh. Name the uh, island group, if you will, please. Is it Bahamas, Bermuda, or U.S. Virgin Islands? Remember the clues that we heard? Islands southeast of Cape and uh, pink sand made of coral shells. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Everybody's ready. Samantha, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said Bermuda. Bermuda. What do you think, Stephen? I said Bermuda. Bermuda. De Deliwa? I said Bahamas. Bahamas. The answer we're looking for is Bermuda. Nice job, Samantha and Stephen. Okay, then, just for uh, everybody's information, if you're wondering about this, we have a tie game going right now. Samantha, Stephen, and Daliwa, all with 60 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, we have... Okay, that can only mean one thing. It's time for the lightning round, which means... Oh, thank you, Daliwa. Which means uh, uh, all of these questions are about Vic the Slick's most recent known whereabouts, which is Bermuda. As you know, each one of these are with five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, please. Listen carefully. Here we go. Is Bermuda an independent nation, a British colony, or a commonwealth in union with the United States? Uh, Daliwa. A Commonwealth in Union with the United States. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Stephen or Samantha? Stephen? It's, it's an independent country. Sorry, it's not an independent country. Uh, Samantha, is it an independent nation, a British colony, or a Commonwealth in Union with the United States? A Samantha? British colony? Uh, that's exactly right. Nice job. <laughs> well done. Good strategy. Okay, takes up to 65. Question two, listen carefully. After a heavy rainfall in Bermuda, are you likely to hear the piercing sound, song of the spiny anteater, the whistling tree frog, or the ring-tailed lemur? Uh, Samantha. The ring-tailed lemur? Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Stephen. The whistling tree frog? Yes, that's right, the whistling tree frog. Nice job, five for you. All right, Daliwa, don't worry. Everyone else has got one, but we have one more question left. <laughs> She's giving him a look like you would not believe. Okay, uh, question three, here it is. Bermuda has more of these per square mile than any other country in the world. Uh, am I referring to water buffalo, uh, golf courses, or bowling balls? Daliwa. Golf courses. Is right. Nice job, you guys. Everybody got something from that thing then. So, Samantha, you have 65, Stephen 65, and Daliwa 65. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do Greg, this. Greg, come into my office. Hi, right, Chief. I'll be right there. Uh, you guys stay here. I'm going to check with her. Looks like this may be serious. I'll be right back. Chief. Whoa! Chief, what's happening today? Well, the office is being balanced today. Balanced? Mm. What do you mean, balanced? Well, as a building gets older, it settles, usually unevenly, and uh, every few years, the Acme Balancing Bureau, they come in and they rebalance my office. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how close are you to nabbing Carmen? Well, that's a very good question, Chief. You know, she can be very elusive sometimes. Sometimes she's over here, and we think we've got her, and then we got to move her this way, and she's right back. Are you feeling okay there, Chief? You look maybe sick. I get the point, Greg. I would hope so, Chief. You know, sometimes when I think of some of the capers she's pulled, yeah. it, it uh, turns my stomach, yeah. too. Uh, what do you think we ought to give the gumshoe that captures Carmen San Diego? You know, I've been thinking about this, and part of me says... Make... Let's give the gumshoe who nabs Carmen San Diego a free trip to anywhere in North America. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Because that way, if she's over here, we're going to know she's right there. And then right before she moves, we'll be right over there. And wait. Chief, you don't look so good. Greg, I'll feel a lot better when you go away. Chief, someday you're going to miss me.
Hey, guys, check it out. A little uh, present that Norm Abram left when he was last here. Let's just make sure we're okay. Oh, yeah, we're okay. Okay, uh, guys, remember, we're looking for Vic and the, the uh, Blarney Stone. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Vic and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Carmen, I don't know about this Blarney Stone. It hasn't changed the way I talk at all. That's because you're already full of Blarney, Vic. Listen, head for the rocky cliffs of the Monterey Peninsula. This area used to supply sand to the golf courses all over the country. Hey, I love golf. You'll be near the town where celebrities come every year to golf in the National Pro-Am Tournament. Bing Crosby founded the tourney in 1936. Hey, I love Bing, too. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> Uh, you know, usually that song puts me in a very festive mood, but now I'm, I'm a little nauseous. Uh, anyway, uh, Gumshoes, to what community did Carmen send Vic? Is it uh, Pebble Beach, Sand Point, or Palm Springs? Remember the clues that we heard? Rocky Cliffs, Monterey Peninsula, and National Pro-Am Golf Tournament. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Steven's ready, so is Samantha, and so is Daliwa. Okay, Samantha, what do you say? I said Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach. What do you think, Stephen? Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach, Daliwa. I said Palm Springs. Palm Springs. The answer we're looking for is Pebble Beach. Nice job, Samantha and Stephen. Okay, so that means Samantha and Stephen, you move up to 75, but Daliwa, you're right in there with 65 crime bucks. That's the way to do it. Now, no. wait a minute. That no. sound can only mean one of two things. Either my mother is riding the mini bike again, or it's time for the plastic diver guy. Go! Go! He lives a life of danger, our underwater ranger, the one and only plastic diver guy. Vic just hit the Blarney Stone in the Charles River. He's in a city that's home to hundreds of thousands of Irish Americans, and they've seen their share of Blarney. During the 1920s, Mayor James Curley sweet-talked his way into office, even though he was indicted for fraud. Was he convicted? He spent the first five months of his mayoral term in jail. It's also home to that snooty PBS station that wouldn't hire me to host Nova, now even though I begged. Now, come on. That is a very lengthy uh -oh. process. Greg, it's the ominous music. Oh, no. It's too late. It's... It's... <laughs> No, 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 one and only Plastic Diver Guy. Ah, Plastic Diver Guy. All right, gum shoes, name the U.S. city, if you will, please. Is it Albany, Providence, or Boston? Remember the clues that we heard? Charles River, home to hundreds of thousands of Irish Americans, and James Curley was mayor in 1920s. Uh, Delia was already ready. Stephen and Samantha waiting on an answer, and now we're ready. Samantha, what do you say? I said Boston. Boston. What do you think, Stephen? I said Boston. Boston, Deliwa. I said Boston. Everyone says Boston. The answer we're looking for is Boston. Yes. Okay, Samantha and Stephen, that takes you up to 85 crime bucks, but Dali was right in there with 75 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. Now, we've just received word that Vic has left Boston, so let's pick up the chase. The chase my favorite part of the show. Okay, guys, remember each one of these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, please. Watch the monitor and listen carefully. Here we go. Vic hot-footed it to the capital of New Hampshire. Name it. Stephen. Concord. Concord is right. He rolled his stone to Vermont. What river did he cross? Daliwa. Hudson. Sorry, it's the Connecticut. Uh, he slipped across Vermont's southern border. Name the state. Samantha. Massachusetts. Massachusetts, right. He hitched a ride to Providence. What state is he in now? Stephen. Rhode Island. Rhode Island's right. He hit out on a ship in Mystic Seaport. Name the state. Stephen. Connecticut. Connecticut's right. That means at the end of the chase round, Samantha has 90. Stephen, 100. Delee was 75 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Mm, okay. Now we come to a very important part of the case, which means it's the time of the final clue of this round, which means that it's time for you to make a decision. Now you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Vic is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay. 
Okay, everybody's ready for our next clue. We turn to Angela Watson, an agent for Acme Step by Step Net. Angela, what's the latest? Greg, Vic was spotted in a capital near South America's west coast. He's on Bernardo O'Higgins Avenue. O'Higgins was the son of an Irish immigrant who led this nation's fight for independence. He became the country's first leader and worked hard to improve the life for the people. That work continues under current president Patricio Alwyn. Gumshoes, you can make a big improvement by catching Vic. Good luck. Thanks, Angela. Okay, guys, to what city did Vic the Slick go? Was it Lima, Santiago, or Buenos Aires? Remember the uh, clues that we heard? Capital near South America's west coast. Bernardo Higgins led nation's fight for independence and President Patricio Alwyn. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Once you have that, lay it down right there in front of you. That's the way, Daliwa. And uh, Samantha, lay it down right there in front of you. Okay, now, Daliwa, we're going to start with you. You have 75 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 40 crime bucks. 40 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Lima. Lima is not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 40 crime bucks, but you're not out of this yet. Anything could happen. Samantha, you have 90 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Santiago. Santiago's right. Nice job. <laughs> Takes you to 110. Steven, you were leading at the beginning of this round. You have 100 crime bucks. How much 30. did you risk? 30 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Lima. Okay, Lima's not right. You're going to go down 30. That means 70. But you're still in second place, which means Samantha and Steven, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Delima, listen. Oh, oh, look at that. That look. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Delima, excuse me. Delima. <laughs> You did a great job. You really did. You were in there to the very end. We have assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief, <laughs> it's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes an atlas for world travelers, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and for quick reference when you're pounding the pavement, this handy world globe. Achieve the wind. You gotta close the window on that. Okay, guys, now what you have to do is go to Santiago, Chile, and uh, track down Victor Slick. What you have to do is find him and bring back the Blarney Stone. But I want you to know, we did not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> The folks down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides on Santiago. Have a look. Santiago, Chile, one of South America's largest cities. It's home to about one-third of Chile's population, over four million people. That's over eight million lips for the Blarney Stone. The changing of the guard at the presidential palace, quite a spectacle. Almost as spectacular as the shine on Vic's hair. This statue at Santiago's Plaza de Armas, or Plaza of Weapons, depicts Bernardo O'Higgins, the son of Irish immigrants. He led Chile's War of Independence against the Spanish. The Santa Lucia Fort and Gardens, an example of Santiago's beautiful landscaping and architecture. But Vic's more interested in another <laughs> kind of beauty. The kind you'll find on the beaches of nearby Vina del Mar. Chileans love the beach. There's no place in the country that is more than a few hundred miles from the coastline. But when Vic takes a dip, he usually leaves an oil slick behind. Gumshoes, Vic has taken the Blarney Stone to Santiago, Chile. Go get him. Okay, guys, come on. Here we are in Santiago. Sit your stuff down right here. Take a walk over that way. Let me show you what we have. Here are the possible locations where you will be able to find the Blarney Stone, Vic the Slick, and a warrant for Vic's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so you can get the warrant. With the warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. Now, one more thing, as always, if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Samantha, you were ahead at the end of the last round, you go first. Um, the general post office. General post office. Nope, nothing there. Stephen, go ahead. National library. National library. The warrant. Nice job, you found the warrant. Now remember, Stephen, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead. Bella Vista. Bella Vista. No, nothing there. Okay, but you did find the warrant, that's good. Samantha, go ahead. Um, the tourist office. The tourist office. Nope, sorry. Steven. Um, Alameda Terminal. Alameda Terminal. 
No, nope, nothing there. Part of uh, one of uh, Santiago's biggest bus terminals. Go ahead, Samantha. National Congress building. National Congress building. Nope, sorry. Steven. Uh, Club de la Union. Club, uh, Club de la Union. Nope, nothing there. Samantha, <laughs> go ahead. Casa O'Higgins. <laughs> Casa O'Higgins. Victor Slick. Victor Slick hiding out at the house of the first president of Chile. Okay, go ahead. Now, but remember, though, you have to do, do it in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead, Samantha. General Post Office. General Post Office. Nice job. Good strategy. Go ahead, Stephen. Uh, Fantasylandia. Fantasylandia. No, but it's if you want, it's like uh, Disneyland while you're in Santiago. Nice place. Go ahead, Samantha. Cerro San Cristobal. Uh, Cerro San Cristobal. Barney Rubble. Okay, you have the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead, Samantha. The National Library. National Library. The warrant. You have the loot. You have the warrant. All you need now is to find Victor Slick. Do you remember where he is? Casa O'Higgins. Is he at Casa O'Higgins? Yeah. yeah. You won. Yeah. Come on, Samantha. Yeah, shake that hand and come on over here. Oh, nice job. Very nice. Strategy and everything. Listen, now you got Victor Slick. All that's left to do now is put him in jail. Pulling this chain into it. Put it there, pal. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, look. Uh, you cut Victor Slick, you got the loot. We're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit, which is Catching Carmen San Diego. First off, listen, Stephen, you are a great detective, man. You tracked Victor Slick all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief. A gumshoe needs to be in touch with the whole world, and that's why I'm giving you this world band radio so you can tune into broadcasts from all around the globe. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Samantha, you know what this is? This is a very nice stationary set. Inside, there's a piece of paper. There's also a pen. But what I want you to write with this inside here is where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego. Do it. We've had many people come by this road right here, this exact point, and I've never, well, a couple of times I've seen this. I don't think anyone has ever gotten this one. So if you catch Carmen San Diego, you're going to be the first one. Let me get this here. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah, she's right here. It's for you. Hello? If I got to make one more license plate, I'm going to melt my polyester. Go get Carmen to help me. She's in Africa. What do you say? She's in Africa. Okay, so Samantha, that means you and I are going to Africa. Chief, what do you say? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Morocco. Sierra Leone. Algeria. Libya. Niger. Egypt. Sudan. Gabon. Congo. Somalia. Botswana. Namibia. Mozambique. I feel good. Greg, let's go to the map. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Samantha. You know what this is all about, right? Yeah. You got a couple of friends here to help you out. What you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through eight different countries, identifying each with a marker. When you are right, you will hear the sound. If by chance you're wrong, though, you'll hear the sound. Now, this is very important if you... If you, if you hear that sound two times, leave the marker where it is, come on back, and we will continue. But if you get eight right in 45 seconds, then you will win that trip to anywhere in North America. Does that sound all right with you? Yeah. Sound okay to you guys? Yeah! Come on, Samantha, let's do this thing. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. You have a lot of people here cheering for you. Good luck to you, Samantha. On your mark, get set, go. Come on to Nam Namibia. 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 You got it. Come on. Gabon, Gabon, Gabon. Do it, do it. You got it. Libya, Libya. This will be three if you do Libya. Libya. Nope, sorry, try it again. Libya. No, come on back, come on back. Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone. Come on, you know this one. Come on, sir. Cheer on, you guys. Cheer on. You got it. Somalia, Somalia. Come on, do it, do it, Somalia. You got it. Egypt, Egypt. You got it. Mozambique. Mozambique. Let's go. You got five. That's six. Come on. Botswana. 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 Do it. Botswana. Oh. You got six in 45 seconds. That isn't bad. Give her a nice round of applause, you guys. Come here, buddy. Ah. 
Listen, that is not bad. I mean, you 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 got Victor Slick. Remember that. You didn't catch Carmen San Diego, but you almost did. That isn't bad, Chief. What do you say? We're all proud of the work you did throughout the day, and for your good work, I hereby upgrade you. You are now a sleuth. Congratulations. Congratulations, Miss Sleuth. And let me tell you, now that you're a sleuth, you don't get to wear the gumshoe jacket anymore. Now you get to wear the official Carmen San Diego sleuth jacket. And since you got six out of the eight, we're also going to throw in this camera for you. How does that sound? Fine. I think so, too. There you go, ma'am. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is. Do it, Rockapella! Well, she sneaks around the world from Bay to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take me for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. Lincoln, but it comes right on the from the Red Sea to Greenland. Did you know you can see Where in the World is Carmen San Diego every weekday at 1.30? And it comes on again every night at 5, right at the Square One TV. Now it's time for Sesame Street, so stay tuned. San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Tell me. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? 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 Thickpin speaking for where in the world is Carmen San Diego. And remember, anywhere crooks leave their clues, they'll be trapped by our gumshoes. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded.